Yep, it's on, day of Bachelor. My first day up at the hill. But I got a good crew today and a good plan. We got the water jump bike. We got the water jump ramp. Carson locked his keys in his truck, but they slim jimmed him out, so he's styling now. <laughs> and we got a crew. We got a crew, we got Drew Barber. Ladies and gentlemen, Drew Barber. We got Sage Catabrigo Loza. Ladies and gentlemen, Sage Catabrigo Loza. <laughs> we got Max Rulin back on the horse. Oh, yeah. Rippin, he's gonna be holding the camera today, so we might as well, why wait? Let's start it right now. <laughs> so, we're gonna rip the hill. We're gonna get a couple laps on the hill, but we got the ramp. So, since it's a hot summer day, when we're done, on our way back to town, we will set the ramp up at this spot that I scouted on the way out here. It's got a hill, it's got a flat spot to put the ramp, and we should just be lawn darting ourselves into the deep end of the Deschutes River. After a nice day, of dusty trails, berm roofs, and Euro tables at Mount Bachelor. I decided to go with this bike today because I asked the humans on the robot machine which one I should ride, the Slash or the Session, and the results came in. And it was pretty close, but we're going with Slash. I'm glad because that's what I wanted to ride today anyways because it's the fresh bike. So now is the time, so let's go ride. We're off and running. Buddy.
motion, dude. Yeah! Outside, inside. Whoa! <laughs> yes, <laughs> dude. One letter difference. Oh my god, just making the most dust possible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, that was amazing. And <laughs> he's right there. Yes, one with the bumble. It won't focus if it's too close. Hey. Nice work. Good line choice. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, you're charging. Nice work. You know what's funny? Cause I rem that reminds me, like, I remember, uh, like doing Whistler summer gravity camps when Finn Isles was seven. Oh, right. And like, look at him now, dude. Yeah. So crazy. Goldstone. So Hunter says he's got a YouTube channel. Put your hand, put your left hand up and point right there. There we go, right like up there in the sky. There we go. Now people will click on yours. Okay. Sick. <laughs> Hunter is a ripper, man. Yeah, Hunter. <laughs> Sick one, dude. <laughs> that was rad. Good job, Hunter. Yeah. Trains with Hunter. Oh, it's pretty windy. Careful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably like, gotta replace your divots. <laughs> it's like an attraction you go to see the 100 foot sandwich. Yeah, it's it's like, like my dad was like, you wanna go eat a 100 foot sandwich? <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah. He <laughs> was like in the parking lot. No way it was a 100 foot piece of <laughs> We did a bunch of ride and it was fun. This is my first day at the park, so I got to check out the trails that are open. There's still a bunch of trails that they're opening. So a bunch of laps on rattlesnake, snaddle rake. And then we did hot dust for our last run, which is the one that's at the bottom of Red Line, which is kind of my favorite trail on the hill. Like, oh my God, it's got everything. The, the Skills Park was good. They did a good job at the Skills Park this year. So we sampled everything the Skills Park had to offer. So we'll come back throughout the summer, do little silly maneuvers on stuff out there. Little Grom Hunter was ripping, seven years old. Got some good follow laps with him. And I was like, oh my God, can you believe that kid was seven? It's insane. So now that we're all hot, and sweaty and we just finished with hot dust we're all hot and dusty so it's time to go to our river jump spot and see if it works we checked it out on the way here it looked perfect so i'm pretty sure it's going to work we've got the water bike with the old rusty water wheels i've got a couple extra pairs of shoes if anybody didn't bring shoes and you don't want to like oh everybody's on point we got the ramp we're gonna assemble when we get down there. It's been a while since I've, did, I've done it and I don't really remember anything. It's good, it. it's good. If you're curious about something, that means you're, <laughs> you, you should do it. <laughs> okay, wait, hold up question. I know that you do all kinds of flips and stuff on skis, but have you ever flipped a bike? No. Oh, and Drew. <laughs> no, but I've always wanted to. I mean, it's a dream. So I was like, okay, like water might be like one step better than the, than the It is the better. Airbag. Like I learned in water, <laughs> so like, if you think about landing on an airbag, you can still like land your head and kink your neck. Foam pit, yeah. you can still land your head and kink your neck. You land your head in the water, that's the worst thing that could happen. And it's a dive, you know? As long as the water's, we'll just make sure we get out deep enough, you know? 
And Drew, we've been talking about backflips for a while. So even if it doesn't happen today, if this spot is good, then you can like test it out and feel it out and know that it's right at the bottom of Lone Wolf so we can like hit it all the time. But today seems like the right day to do it. Carson, you're coming to the water jump. Yeah. All right, we got a good, we, we got a good crew. Let's go. Let's go to the water jump. <laughs> if anybody asks, we're just setting up a nice beach chair. It's pretty big for beach. It's a beach recliner. But look at this hill, Max. Look, we got like, we got this whole hill coming down. So here's the idea. is like right where my truck's parked there and we got the water bike, that tree, the lookers right of the tree just blast right through there. Luckily they didn't put a rock there. If they did, we would just bring a smaller little hopper ramp out and jump the rock. But we can thread the needle through that. And then this is like flat enough and these things will level themselves out and then should be able to launch right into the deeps there. I'll hit it first and let you guys know how deep it is. Okay, here we go. And so that decreases the jank factor. today I watched and I didn't morning. get up early I forgot it was the day and he watched it and he's been able to not tell me who won all day which is probably really hard for you it's hard it's, it's pretty like, hard to not talk about he's it. trying he's almost telling me no I'm I've not almost made it through the whole day without hearing if I can get through tonight no, just it's a wild phone. it's a wild race I'll watch it tomorrow. We'll that, but... yes, yes a wild race yeah. I'm gonna watch it I bit my tongue a little bit I don't look at it yeah. underneath yeah underneath it's really the tip. there it is it's good I taste blood but it's not gushing no, you're going to be fine. But I think we're good. We had a freaking sweet day. That's what's up. A little batchy, a little lake jumping. And I think this is probably not the last time that we're going to lake jump after Bachelor or lake jump after trail ride. we got a good spot here. Yeah, you send it into the river, you float right back down right to the boat ramp. The... Right? It's insanely perfect. One of the main trails we like to ride is right over there. So I think this is the official kickoff of Bills? summer here in the videos. So expect a bunch more <laughs> summer videos. Next one. Next one, next one's going to Mexico. I'm going to Mexico in two days. So there's going to be checking out the trails of Baja and catching some waves, going over the falls, probably rip more of my tongue off on the reef. <laughs> and then we'll be back here for the rest of the summer. Bend, Oregon. Not too shabby. Ew. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.